Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome to the beginning of another adventure, this time in World of Warcraft Dragonflight, this time on a human paladin. This is our human paladin, Athos. Some of you might remember him from the classic series where he was a priest, and now he's been reborn as a paladin in Dragonflight content. Welcome guys, thank you so much for clicking on the video and choosing to join me here today. Please. I really do appreciate it, and I hope you are all doing well. We are on the Paladin because in every version of the game, for me, all roads seem to lead back to the Paladin. But I don't have a Paladin right now at max level in Retail WoW. So that is my goal with this character, get a Paladin to max level and get them ready to take into the war within. That is what we were doing. Thank you guys for being here for it. As usual, I'm going to focus on just chill ambience. We'll keep the music up. You guys let me know if any of the sound settings need to be adjusted. As far as where we'll be questing, we're going to do most of this in the old world. So if you have any ideas for your favorite old world zones, let me know in the comments. And we'll try to work in as many zones as we can. That'll happen once we hit level 10. We'll be free to take Cataclysm time walking and then we can go wherever we want. So yeah, I'll come up with a couple of my favorites. You guys let me know what zones you would want to see. And we'll try to make it happen. Honor, friend, or the alliance. Be careful. Uh, now we started with a one hander and a shield, and we learned Shield of the Righteous for our second ability. Slams enemies in front of you with your shield, causing nine holy damage and increasing your armor by 34. For, for 4.5 seconds? For 4.5 seconds. And that's going to cost us 3 holy power. Greetings. Go with honor, friend. Well met. Light bless you. Be careful. And we got judgment. Judges the target dealing 15 holy damage. So apparently on the Pally in Retail, there's no seals. We don't have to put a seal up and judge the seal. Judgment is its own spell. Good day to you. And it is a standalone spell. Safe travel. How are you? See you around. Ah! Ah! 
All right, aside from killing goblins, we should also be healing the injured Stormwind soldiers. We got Flash of Light, which is a quick heal. Let's go ahead and get a couple more action bars going on. Boop. And we will, well, we probably don't need that third one. Let's put this up here. What can I do for you? Go with honor, friend. Light be with you. Hey there. Safe travels. There was one other quest back here, probably Millie's quest, to save the crop of grapes. You need something? See you around.
day to you. See you later. Need help? For the Alliance, life bless you. Be careful. We picked up Hammer of Justice, which is our stun. Stuns the target for six seconds. I'm going to move that down here. I wonder if I need the personal resource display below my character like that. Uh, I don't think I do. I would like to show it on top of the target. I wonder if that's still going to show my HP bar. Yeah, I wonder if there's a way to get the personal resources up above. But I don't really need the HP bar floating below me. Um, I wonder where that would be. Yeah, I'm not sure where, if any of you guys know how I could hide my HP bar beneath me. While leaving the personal resource display above the target, that would be great. Maybe there's not a way to do it. Yeah, like, I'd like to... Oh, here we go. Hide health and power bars. Okay, that's... That's really cool. Yep, there we go. Greetings. Uh, like no matter what we take here, it's it's the same damage. Go with honor, friend, for the alliance. Really, really, the low-level itemization in retail is actually really, really strange. Because the gear doesn't really start to improve at all until you're kind of even like out of Elven Forest. We are going to hit level 10, we'll take Cataclysm Time Walking, and then maybe we'll go to Duskwood. There's something about the idea of a paladin fighting the undead that just really does it for me. I, I really enjoy that. What can I do for you? What other areas can we fight undead? Obviously the Eastern and Western Plague Lands. Could be a good place for a paladin to level up. I'm not sure like what there is in South Shore uh, for the Alliance. Could be a place to check out unless it's primarily Horde now.
health. Go with honor, friend. For the Alliance. Be careful. Plague bless you. Go with honor, friend. You need something? See you later. Hey there. See you around. All right, they gave us Consecration. Consecrate the land beneath you, causing 20 holy damage over 12 seconds. Okay, uh, we might we might use that. What can I do for you? For the Alliance. Light bless you. Good day to you. Have a good one. What can I do for you? See you later. See you around. King's honor, friend. Be careful. Good day to you. Have a good one. Hello. Have a good one. Well met. Be careful. How are you? Safe travels. Hello. See you around. do for you. Safe travels. Have a good one. Safe travels.
King's honor, friend. Farewell. All right, what do we get now? We got Word of Glory. Calls down the light to heal a friendly target for 101. Uh, this takes three holy power. So almost kind of like an emergency heal. We'll put that over there. Alright, now we can go after the Kobolds and after Goldtooth, who is actually hanging out outside of the mine, not inside the mine. And there he is right now. It looks like not only did he steal the necklace, he's also been hoarding all of the candles. Now, if we play this right, we won't even have to go into the mine to complete the objectives. We should be able to do it on the outside of the mine. Yeah, there's enough guys out here.
Well, maybe we will be going inside the mine after all. And I think it's safe to say we can hearth out of here. Well, let's not. Let's go turn in. Either either way, we're going to be back down here to turn in the invisibility elixir. So yeah, let's go ahead and hearth out. And then when we come back in to turn in the invisibility elixir, we will turn in the necklace. You need something? See you around. See you later. See you around. Safe travels. King's honor, friend. Life bless you. Go with honor, friend. Hello. See you later. This is a really cool transmog that he has. That is actually really amazing. Uh, yeah. I, I, I want this transmog, or at least parts of it. Even the helmet looks cool, and a lot of the times in WoW, the helmets don't look awesome. But yeah, this is... This is great. Really, really cool. We were, we were stuck in combat with a frog.
How are you? Have a good one. Safe travels. Hello. You need something? Good day to you. Have a good one. something? Safe travels. You know, I'm kind of tempted while we're over here just to do the two quests at the garrison. Since everything scales with us, there's no reason to come back and do this later. We can just do it right now. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that for a little change of pace. We typically handle these in like the exact same order as if it were classic, but it's not classic and we can do them in whatever order we want.
light be with you for the Alliance. Oh, we got a nice upgrade there on the Stone Karn boots. That became a blue. One strength, two stamina. I will take it. We got Hand of Reckoning, which is our taunt. And I think what I'll do is I'll head over here. We'll do a couple quests and then we'll take the flight point back to Goldshire. Really, we're only aiming to hit level 10 here. So we don't have to do all of Elwyn. We're not going to do all of Westfall. Uh, I think I want to go to Duskwood first. And then I'll toss it to you guys to come up with some ideas of where we should take this character to level up. Now, even with Cataclysm Time Walking, there are probably going to be some zones that we can't go to until we're level 30. I would like to go to Winterspring. Winterspring has been a popular request for like a retail old world leveling zone. Uh, and I think when we have our flying mount, it'll be easier just to get over to uh, Kalimdor and then take a straight shot. Like a straight shot flight on our flying mount over to places like that. Uh, whereas like traveling by foot might be a little troublesome. I always forget that they get killed off. Go with honor, friend. For the Alliance. Be careful. Light bless you. What can I do for you? Go with honor, friend. For the Alliance. Greetings. Be careful. Light bless you. All right, we got the river paw clue. Let's head down to the coast and we will fight some murlocs. And we got the murloc clue pretty quickly. That's awesome.
careful. For the Alliance. Light bless you. Go with honor, friend. Alright, so I think what we'll do is we'll turn this one in, and then we should be ready to head to Stormwind to pick up the Cataclysm Time Walking. And once we do that, we'll be free to go wherever we want. Or we can just ding by discovering stuff, and that, that could be fine too. Uh, we got Divine Shield, grants immunity to all damaging, harmful attacks, knockbacks, and forced movement for 8 seconds. Let's put that up there. We got Sense Undead, let's put that over here. And we opened up our combat specializations. I, I, you know, my instinct is just to go Ret. I would love to check out Protection at some point, I just know that I probably won't be tanking stuff at any point, so I should probably focus on what I'm going to do for most of my journey, especially at endgame, I'm probably going to be doing damage. So we'll do that for now, maybe we'll check out, uh, we'll check out tanking spec later on. Uh, let's see, although, you know, we could do tanking spec, and we could, we could do some, like, low-level dungeons. What do we get here? We get Avenger Shield, and Ardent Defender. I mean, we, we have, a, we have a shield right now. We could do this for the time being and just play around with it. It's probably fine to level this way if we want to. Uh, we could do Hammer of Wrath, which is our Execute, usable on enemies that have less than 20% HP. Uh, Fist of Justice, each holy power spent reduces the cooldown on Hammer of Justice, uh, which is our Interrupt. Cleanse Toxins will be a nice to have, Blessing of Freedom. Let, let's go with our with our Execute. And then, you know, it said we get we get uh, the shield, but we don't actually get the Avenger shield until we can put a point into the actual protection tree. So we'll have to wait on that. Let's just turn this one in. We won't take any follow-ups, and we'll jump a flight over to Stormwind. So our mastery increases the chance to block melee attacks. While inside your consecration, your damage taken is reduced by 7.8%. And you have a chance equal to your block chance to reduce your damage taken from harmful periodic effects. So it's important as a tank, apparently, that we're laying down consecrate. Part of our mastery depends on it. Alright, guys, from here I'm going to go talk to Chromie, I'm going to grab Cataclysm Time Walking, and I think next time we'll start off in Duskwood. Let me know if there are any zones you would like to see a paladin carve their way through, I would love to hear from you guys. And thank you for being here. If you are digging this series, you think you're going to get into it, leaving a like, subbing to the channel, all that stuff really does help me out a lot, and I truly appreciate those that do. Until next time, guys, take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we'll see you back in Azeroth again very soon. Bye for now.